Today I want to have a look at these 100 watt solar panels sent in by CalSun and you can buy them individually or in packages of two or four I believe. They sent me a four pack. I wanted to put together a 400 watt solar array and do some comparisons and testing on them just to see how they perform. I've seen some pretty nice reviews on them. These are the half cell design with an aluminum frame. They have these plastic corner protectors. I suppose those are put on there for shipping and you can take them off if you want to. I'm just going to leave mine on there because I think it'll help protect those corners. I'm going to put these on those 45 inch aluminum mounts and I'll have to do some manipulation to fit two panels on one mount. Typical junction box. This is all standard MC4 connectors so that's all good. Here's a look at the data sheet on the back. CalSun PR100 watt 18.55 volts for the maximum power voltage and maximum power current is 5.41 amps. The open circuit voltage on these panels is 21.95 volts and short circuit current is 5.68 amps. Requires a 15 amp fuse. Here's a look at the measurements in metric. But the construction looks good. They've got silicone in there. These are IP67 rated, so the connectors and the uh, junction box are water resistant and they're built for outdoor use. They've got some pre-drilled holes for mounting. They only have two on each side, which I suppose is sufficient. I would have preferred that they put another one out here near the end to give you a couple of options. Anyway, they have four already built in and then some drain holes, so if they don't hold water. And they've got a 10-year warranty service for materials and workmanship on this solar panel. So let's hook one up. We'll set it out here in the sun and uh, let's see how they perform. Got one of the single panels set up here, angled about the best I can have it for this early morning sun. So let's check the open circuit voltage and then we'll connect it up probably to a power station and we'll see what we get out of just this uh, single panel. Open circuit voltage on the CalSun 100 watt panel, 21.75. And the panel was calling for 21.95 volts. So far so good. Let's hook it up to the power station and see what we get out of it. Connected to this all powers R600. See what we get out of that 100 watt CalSun solar panel. It's about nine o'clock in the morning here. And look what we're getting. If I can get the glare off of there for you 115 watts out of a 100 watt CalSun solar panel. Wow, I'm impressed. It's uh, very uncommon to get more than the rated power. I just don't know what to say. That's amazing. 115 watts on the All Powers R600 connected to the single CalSun 100 watt solar panel. I'm excited to get all four set up and we'll see what we get out of an array of 400 watts all connected in series. Of course, I won't be able to hook to that power station but I'll connect it to my other system that'll handle up to uh, 100 volts of input and we'll see what we get. But at the moment, now we drop down a little bit, 109, 111. It's kind of fluctuating a little bit. 117. Impressive. So I got one of the racks set up. Two of the 100 watt CalSun solar panels. Optimize the best that I can for the morning sun and this is, this is impressive. You're going to like this. 211 watts of power out of a 200 watt array. I just saw 226 a minute ago. So well over their rated output power of 100 watts for these CalSun solar panels. Very cool. Here's a look at the 400 watt array I built out of the four 100 watt CalSun solar panels and it is really performing quite well. Hooked to my Renogy system that I've got set up in my garage. These are all wired in series and this is the performance I'm getting off these panels right now. You can see 66.3 volts, 5.51 amps and it's putting out 365 watts. But hey that's pretty darn good. 366 watts out of a 400 watt array. 
There's my 400 watt array of Renogies back there behind there. And so I'm going to connect all of these panels together. There's about a two volt difference in the voltage of these panels, the Cal Suns versus my uh, older compact Renogies back there. So I'm just going to wire them in parallel this array with that array. So I'll have 800 watts. I'll take a slight hit for the voltage drop, two volts or so, but it's still going to be totally worth it. Looks like I'm getting 26.93 amps, 27 amps now, 368 watts out of this CalSun solar panel array. So if you're interested in these 100 watt panels, they have a really uh, uh, affordable price on them right now at the filming of this video, which is mid-April of 25. You can buy them off of Amazon. I'll put my Amazon affiliate links in the description. They have a lot of different solar panels to choose from other than this particular model, but I'm impressed with the performance of these panels, and I think they'd make somebody a great set of panels. If you want a small array for an RV or like a portable array like I've got set up here, you can move it around or take it with you somewhere. I think they're a great buy. I'll let you guys check out the link because prices are changing all the time and who knows what's happening with the current tariff situation, how that's going to end up. I think they're a great buy and I'm really impressed with the solar panels. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click a thumbs up before you leave. That'll really help me out. And uh, YouTube's put a video on the screen now they think you're going to enjoy. If you click on that video, I'll meet you over there.